This is climbing a tree without Shuko, using the sword in place of the Shuko. So that works pretty good. It was uh, something I wondered if it was possible. So I uh, came out here, gave it a shot. Actually works pretty good. I imagine with practice, it'd probably be a lot easier. <coughs> Might even be able to shimmy right up the tree. I am wearing a Shiko, and the Shiko make it uh, <coughs> much easier. Otherwise, I'd be slipping down the tree. But uh, that was interesting. Like I said, with uh, more practice, Probably be kind of easy to get up a lot of trees with it. So real quick, uh, a word of warning about climbing a tree with a blade. Uh, it's obviously very hazardous because you're actually holding the blade when you do it to create some leverage with that edge into the back of the tree. Do not try this if you have the typical ninja sword. If you bought a sword and it's called a ninja sword when you bought it, that's what you call Ninja Sword. It was bought that way. That's the name of it. Don't use it. It's a piece of junk. It's likely going to bend or break while you have your weight down on it. With your hand on it, if your blade bends, breaks, you're going to be in serious trouble. Uh, it's going to do some serious damage to your hand, at the very least. Uh, even if you have a Hanway uh, Ninja Toe, don't use it. Um, that blade is very likely going to bend on you if you do that. Uh, if you have a blade that's stamped stainless steel on it, don't use it. That will likely break on you. Uh, basically, don't do this unless you know full well that your blade is capable of handling the uh, weight and the pressure you put on it. This is a Chines blade and it's made of spring steel, so it's extremely strong. It can handle a lot more than the weight I put on it today. So, think twice before you try this yourself with the sword you bought online for, I don't know, you know, 80 bucks or something, 20 bucks even worse. Um, it's extremely dangerous. 